It began as a little place out in the country, a beer joint, I call it. They had steaks and country ham and fried chicken, and it was good. But in 52, the place went dry, the county went dry, and so we had to learn to sell food, you know, and we kept, my daddy would borrow the money from the credit union and take us to Florida. We go down there and one day we was out and he's, everywhere he was looking, he was the genesis behind all these recipes. But people don't know that. But he, we went out one night and they were smoking chickens and they, they had this fire here and it was piped over to the chickens. And we came back and he, he, he built him a pit right down here at the end. He made it out of blocks. It wasn't long, all that grease got in them cinder blocks and up it went. And then the next version he did out of bricks and it lasted a little bit longer and it burned up. The final design of it, the, the walls are that thick of concrete and then it's got a double layer sides, 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 the back of those fire bricks and then everything stainless steel. The business came first. She went to work uh, in 1948. She'd leave 9.30 in the morning and come home at 11.30 at night. I couldn't fathom she would have not everybody in this country around here had, maybe some people had a car. Not everybody had a car in 48, 49, 50. If they did, there was one car in the family and the man took it to work. So there were ladies up and down these hollers that mama would go and she had an old 52 station wagon, Ford. And she'd go, quote unquote, pick up the help. At night after we closed, she took the help home. It came 7.30 and it's time to close. Well, if they'd be a line out through here of 25 people, ain't she just lock the door. <laughs> she said there has to be a time to open and a time to close. And of course she was, she did that. I mean, she closed at 7.30, it'd be nine o'clock before she had to leave. And then she had to go take the help home. <laughs> So she might not get home at 10.30 if she closed at 7.30. Because she was their wheels. She drove them. She drove them. She picked them up. She took them home. When I was a little boy, standing in this room right here that was the kitchen then, and he was, he was changed that sauce. He'd add some of this or some of that, and he'd say, here, taste this. And I'd say, I don't want to taste that again. He said, look here, boy, you may have to make a living this way. And I'd have to taste it to see what I thought. He turned to see if it was good. And he kept changing it. And then the four of us committed it to memory. This stuff is a special cheese special blue cheese. People say, I think I've got it just about down. And I said, well, have you? And they said, I can't get it just right. And they said, what is it? I said, it's a thing called a hoop. And you go down through that thing and you open it up and it's blue moldy inside. <laughs> I said, now that takes a long time to do. Most of this stuff just tastes like provolone. Mm -hmm. And you get a grocery, you know, it's not you can tell it's mildly blue cheese, but it's not strong, and that that's real tasty. I really think it's the product. I really think it's the food. It's just a place to make a living, and we're thankful that people like it.